in our previous tutorial i have showed about php file handling okay now in this tutorial i will show you in next part file handling i mean how to file open read create etc okay so let's go you can see here the function f of n php function f of n by using f of n function you can open a file or url okay f of n function fails to open any file it return false and an error on failure syntax of f of n function is like that f of n then the bracket okay and then it's have four parameter file name i mean file path or url then the mode and include path or context okay file name or file location is required and mode is required okay i mean mandatory and include path and context is optional you can use or not mode means what you want to do here you can see mode i mean parameter description mode you can see possible values of mode like r r plus w w plus a a plus x x plus etc okay you can write anything r means read only r plus mean read and write w means write only and w plus read and write okay a plus write only and others you can see a plus read and write okay and x write only x plus read and write and include path and context optional you can see but this is the mandatory parameter you can see mode okay also you can learn more by reading this link just go to this link i will give this link in my video description box okay psp.net slash manual just go to this link and you will get all description about it okay it's not possible to describe in this video totally because if i want to describe in this video it will long more than an hour okay so i am showing you just important functions in this video and you can learn more from reading this link okay just go to this link anyway first open your jump control panel start apache and mysqli go to your folder directory localhost jam stdocs index file edit with notepad plus plus you can see in our previous tutorial i have showed about php read file functions okay just open your browser write localhost slash you folder name okay anyway just remove it now and here in our folder directory we can see this is our txt file where we have write just learn you can see if i write here suppose learn php and then some sentence i can write java learning then c sharp learning python python learning with w code arjun okay suppose i write some sentence you can see one two three four five okay five sentence you can see and here you can see in our functions if i want to print it how to do it just first write f open function okay it's a four parameter you have already know but two parameter is mandatory or required first parameter is file name you can see this file student.txt suppose this file we want to read just write this file name first here student.txt okay and second parameter is mode okay what you want to do suppose here i just write r r means read okay you can write r or w or r plus etc i will give a link in my video description box so just check this link of php.net and uh, you will learn about it more okay anyway you can see just i have right here read i mean r this mode f of n and store this function into an another variable suppose i can write here variable suppose i can write my file my files okay this variable and here also you, our first parameter is which file you want to read and then our mode parameter okay and also you can write here or die i mean when this file is not exist in your directory you can see here our file is student.txt okay so if this file is missing then 
it will generate a warning message suppose i can write here file not found suppose i write it you can write anything it's a message and now how to read this file first write sub suppose f read function and here it's have two parameter first parameter is this variable i mean where you have assigned your f open i mean your open file in this variable we have assigned our open file okay you can see f of n student.txt this file is opened and assign this variable and now first this variable i mean open files that you have assigned into another variable my files this files is first parameter just here write first parameter and then just write file size okay here will be your file name again you can see txt student.txt it will be with quotation here just write your file name again this file size parameter it will refer the maximum number of bytes okay and this our open fi open files you can see student.txt this file we have opened and assigned this variable okay so first parameter is this variable where you have assigned your value and second parameter is file size maximum by referring and here will be your just file name you can see student.txt okay and here will be just echo okay and also just write f close okay i mean file close here will be your this variable okay this is the best practice of programming okay first you have open a file student.txt and assign this value in here and finally you need to close this file okay and for this just use f close and open file here will be you can see we have opened this file student.txt and assign this value here and now just this variable right here okay and now refresh your browser you can see learn php java learning c sharp learning python learning with w code arjun or five sentence you can see in our txt file one two three four five if i numbering here zero one and zero two and zero three and zero four and zero five okay just save and refresh your browser you can see our five sentences printed okay by using f read it printed all sentence you can see all sentence in our web browsers in a single line you can see i hope you understand so, okay you can see here printed the five sentence anyway now if you want to print just one sentence you can see our first sentence is learn php i mean if you want to print your first line or sentence of your file so just here write f get s okay f gets function s means sentence okay f get then s s means sentence it will print at the first sentence of your file so refresh your browser you can see number one learn php in our file we can see learn php student.txt learn php from serial number zero one you can see zero one learn php also if you want to print just first character of your file first character you can see in our student.txt file first character is zero okay so if you want to print this just here write f get c c mean characters okay f get c and here will be just one parameter just remove this parameter file size is not required here my files only open files that you have open or read and just to refresh you can see zero is printed or if i remove here zero one then you can see it will print it l first character of our file student.txt is l you can see just to refresh you can see l is printed okay i hope you understand also here we have write a error message file not found okay if i write here suppose student you can see student 
our file name is in our folder directory student student student.txt but here we have write student t is missing okay so this file is not exist in our folder directory so it will generate a warning message warning message and give our message just to refresh your browser you can see warning f of n student student.txt fail to open streaming file not found our message you can see file not found okay i hope you understand anyway go to previous refresh you can see l anyway now finally we can see a function that in our files we can read it if i write here suppose 0 1 if you want to read this file from beginning to end okay here have a function it will read line by line okay i mean each sentence or each character it will read so how to do it first here suppose here just remove it here first write a function f e o f function okay this means file end of file okay f function end of file okay this is actually run into a conditions okay i mean you can use here while condition or anything suppose i can write while suppose you can write while and while and then third bracket okay you can see first write while then between the while function just write f e o f function okay and here will be f e o f function it's a one parameter here will be our open files i mean that files you want to read open or create etc here will be you can see while f e o f suppose i can write not not f e o f i mean this file until the end okay i mean this while if not reach until the end of file it will running that means i have write here not f u f then the files name okay and here just write echo suppose f gets okay f gets function f gets functions okay and here just write the file name open files sorry that you have opened student.txt okay my files and also you can can't get a break it will print it below below you can see f gets i hope you already know about it it will print at the sentence okay first sentence or first line of your files but when you assign this function into f e o f functions you can see while not f e o f functions i mean end of file it will running f e o f function it will running until the file is end okay and here we have printed f gets it will print it sentence by sentence i mean line by line okay you can see here learn php learn java here we can see these are each sentence okay five sentence so it will read sentence by sentence okay f gets sentence by sentence first read a sentence suppose learn php then take a break then again second sentence java learning and take a break okay and finally it will close the functions just to refresh your browser you can see number one learn php learn java learning c sharp learning you can see according to with w code arjun with w code arjun last line okay you can see but if you print only this sentence okay it will just print this first line okay learn php f gets but when you use f you have function into a condition suppose while condition i mean loop it will print it until the last of your file okay also if you write here suppose c i mean characters you can see f get c if you print only this function i hope you already know about it cause some few moment ago i have showed it if you use f get c I mean C character function it will print the first character of your file but if you write a low you can see while and use f u f function it will read all characters of your files you can see in our here 0 1 0 is first character then 1 is second character then dot is third character then space then l etc okay 
first just to refresh your browser you can see 0 1 dot then space then l then e then a okay you can see our last character is e you can see our last character is john e okay i hope you understand when you use f get c between the f e o f function it will read the each character okay first character it's zero read and then take a break then again one and take a break okay according this way it will read until the end of file you can see not a few function i hope you understand it's so important tutorial for beginners anyway so thank you and i hope you understand you will learn more about it when i will show you live object oriented programming with live project okay so don't worry